The man who over the last 30 years became one of the world's foremost experts on the JFK assassination died today. Gary Mack was the curator of the Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza. His wife tells the Dallas Morning News he'd been suffering from a rare and aggressive form of cancer. Mack went to work at the JFK Volunteer Center after leaving his career in radio and television, including time right here at NBC5. Gary was a great promoter of the museum. Uh, when he went to work for the museum, there was a whole part of the kind of extraneous research community that believed he had sold out. And while his career took Mac to the Sixth Floor Museum, his love of the history often brought him back to his NBC5 roots. And our own Brian Curtis worked with Gary Mack on our special coverage of the 50th anniversary of the JFK assassination. Brian. Uh, Christy and Bianca, it was a remarkable professional experience for me. So many reporters from all over the world worked with Gary, but he had a special place in our hearts because he was part of our NBC5 family. I will never forget the day Gary took me into the basement of our old building in East Fort Worth and revealed a treasure trove of film documenting the JFK assassination. Down into the bowels of Channel 5. Down a steep flight of stairs and a dim concrete corridor is a door that leads deep into the past. And so here it is, room number eight. Yeah. After you, sir. And a mysterious squeaky door, too. Gary Mack has spent countless hours here. There's a history in this room that isn't in any history book. Preserved for decades against the odds. Most TV stations across the country threw out all their old news film. Channel 5 saved it all. Perhaps the most precious film of all fits into a few well-worn cardboard boxes. All the Kennedy footage is, is, is right over here. It starts with President Kennedy's triumphant trip to Texas. And then it chronicles his assassination. Jimmy Darnell rode in the motorcade. And as soon as the shots were fired, Jimmy jumped out and ran around and, and filmed what he could. He had no idea what had happened, though. That was the beginning of a frantic scramble to cover one of the most stunning stories of the TV era. The word came down and engineers and I think a reporter jumped into the big remote van. They weren't little SUVs like, like we have today, it was a big huge truck. And started barreling to Dallas down what is now I-30 and they blew the engine. And the truck just coasted to the side of the road. The biggest story ever. And everybody's trapped inside the truck. The Channel 5 truck was towed to Dallas where it played a critical role in our coverage. Much of the reporting was exclusive. Dan Owens was, uh, I think, the only television news photographer to film the rifle that was found inside the book depository being carried out of the building and off to police headquarters. Yeah, there is Leon. But the key moment for Channel 5 shot. was getting the shooting of Lee Harvey Oswald live on camera. And Channel 5 signal went to NBC and out all across the country. The world has seen the work of our colleagues from November of 1963. Some of the Channel 5 footage turns up in documentaries all the time. And sometime in the future, historians will likely turn to it again. I can't tell you now what questions will be asked in the future. But I do know this. Channel 5's news coverage includes many items, many events that the other stations didn't capture on film. For that reason alone, it's crucial that this video information be saved. Lee Oswald has been shot. Gary Mack worked tirelessly to acquire and safeguard items like that so they will always be around for historians in the future. Christian Bianca, he was absolutely critical in shaping the Sixth Floor Museum that we know today. Yeah, and uh, for a little bit of perspective, like in terms of expertise on the JFK assassination, how much of a loss is this? Listen, there are a lot of really passionate, great people who will continue this work, but I think they would be the first ones to tell you that this is a staggering loss. Everybody went to Gary Mack, reporters, historians, even lawmakers mm -hmm. in Congress. The guy knew everything. He yeah. rarely said, I've got to get back to you on that. He was a human encyclopedia. And because he knew so much about the assassination, 
we're just curious. What did he think? What did he? What does he think happened? This is fascinating because Gary Mack, from the outset, he was a conspiracy theorist. He did not think Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. But over the years, Gary Mack debunked theory after theory about conspiracies, and I think that's why so many people respected him. He was absolutely relentless in his pursuit of the truth on this, and he will be sorely missed. Thanks yeah. so much, Brian. All right, thanks, Brian.